Hi, I'm Rob Chaw here at uh, Madden Tactical, and I wanted to um, talk to you, um, you and tell you about the product that we developed from our scrum last weekend. And a little bit about the scrum, we had um, 15 professionals come in and spend a pretty intense weekend with us here in Jackson. And we had, uh, um, in four different areas, we had uh, tactical strength and conditioning, uh, conditioning coaches come in, we had law enforcement uh, athletes and professionals, um, active duty military guys, and we also had um, mountain athletes, both professional mountain athletes and uh, mountain professionals like mountain guides. Um, we had fire rescue guys, and we had industry people come in, um, people who work uh, in the industry on the product or consulting side for mountain and tactical athletes. Um, and so we had them all come in, and as part of the scrum, one of the things we had them work on was a sprint project. And we spent two, two uh, mornings working on this project and the, the task to the attendees was to develop um, a way to help rookies get from being a rookie in the mountains or on the battlefield to being mountain or battlefield aware. And um, it was quite an interesting process. We started out where we gave um, everybody, we split the, the 15 people into two separate groups and then myself and uh, Katie here facilitated each group. And we started out by giving them three case studies uh, from a, a law enforcement case study, a mountain case study, and a fire rescue case study, which all involved rookies and rookie mistakes. And then um, based on those case studies, um, identify based on uh, what they thought caused the problem, moved on to what possible solutions were, and then start crunching all that information down um, and ideas down. What was so dynamic about it was we had these people from different fields bringing their own experiences from their field to this common project. The difficulty was to get a product that we could use and share with others. Um, that was one of our goals of the Scrum was to develop ideas that we could share. And um, so at the end, um, both of the teams submitted their um, product or their final solutions together and then we took the best of both parts and um, combined them into what I'm going to present today. Um, and so uh, I'll just go right into that. Um, <clears throat> this is the actual kind of final whiteboard thing that we developed from the Scrum. So I decided to just kind of leave it all um, uh, the way we developed it and cranked on it. Um, one group came up with um, this idea of how things kind of happen out there over the course of time for um, mountain and tactical athletes in the field in their areas. And if you can imagine, so we're going to look at just this right here. And this is the environment that you're working in, a mountain or a tactical environment. And if you're above the line, things are going good and you're aware and you're in front of what's happening. If you're below the line, things are going bad. And the idea over the course of time is as your experience and proficiency and awareness develops in a mountain and tactical sense, you can start out ahead and get behind the curve and then you get ahead and you end up dropping it so that you spend less and less time behind the curve of the events that are happening and you're more ready and prepared for what's happening on the, in the mountains or on the battlefield. Um, so over the course of time, as you move from being a rookie to being more experienced, this is what you want to see. So we expect the more experienced people who are mountain battlefield aware to be in front of the situation and reacting proactively to it rather than always being behind. The second group came up with this mental model, which just kind of starts here down, on how, on, on a way that anybody, no matter where you are in terms of the experience curve, could react to um, a situation and become more situationally aware. It's kind of a mental model that this group prepared or developed. The first thing is in the middle, this idea to stop when the situation change, changes. So, and it can be both a good change or a bad change. You know, for example, in the mountains, um, it hasn't been uh, snowing and it starts snowing or starts getting colder. Um, on, the, on, the, on the battlefield or a tactical situation, for example, um, in a fire, um, you're 
you're moving through and it, it all of a sudden starts getting harder if you're putting out if you're entering a building um, if uh, in, a, in a law enforcement situation you go up to uh, you know give a guy a ticket in a car and you start seeing movement um, rapid or urgent movement in the passenger side it's something that sets you the situation has changed somehow and again the situation changes it doesn't always have to be bad it can be a good change too uh, but if the situation changes the idea is to go through this uh, this uh, this mental steps here the first one is to stop and then to take a breath and breathe the idea is just to stop and go that breath or that idea just kind of calms you down and clears your mind and lets you think a little bit the next step is to say okay am I okay am I healthy um, am I doing fine first thing for you and the second is my team so am I okay is my team are you okay if everything's okay everybody's okay in that instant move on to the next uh, um, step which is kill me now or later is there some threat that might kill me now that I need to address right away or something that might kill me later um, for example um, let's say in a mountain situation you're um, you're starting to see uh, avalanche slides you're in a bad zone something could kill you now or in a mountain situation <coughs> you um, you just <coughs> uh, skinned up a steep slope and um, your base layer is soaked from sweat um, and, but you stopped moving so um, your base layer being wet right now may not kill you now but if you don't address it change your base layer or add a layer and it gets cold you could become hypothermic later so there's something that could kill me now kill me later the next step is to say okay what does my training tell me to do about this if everything's good then your training doesn't tell you anything but if if something's not right and there's a threat what does your training tell you to do so just think that through and then finally act act on what your training tells you and then the process starts again if you're going to act and the situation changes you're going to stop breathe and go through the full process we'll be fleshing this idea out um, you know as we work with it but i just wanted to share that with the people who kind of follow us here at mountain tactical and maybe get your feedback on it we think it's a pretty interesting and efficient model um, to kind of think about not only the journey and the bigger kind of macro level of where you want your awareness to be over the course of time, but this micro level tool that you can apply, the rookie can use it, the vet, uh, you know, the veteran can use it, the apprentice can use it right away in your, when you're in a, a mountain or a tactical situation. Um, if you have any feedback or any ideas, um, good or bad, just please email me, rob at uh, mountaintactical.com. Thanks for your time.